Hello, this is Mike Schmitz for Asian Efficiency. This is the first post in a four-part series on Quick Capture. In this post, I'm going to explain the importance of capturing information into a trusted system and how that fits into the Getting Things Done, or GTD, methodology. In subsequent posts, I'll show you how to implement this on Mac and iOS using some specific apps that I've adapted into my everyday workflow. Every great work of art, new technology, or revolutionary product has started with somebody's good idea. Everything starts with an idea. The problem is that many times we give ourselves too much credit and we trust our brains to recall these ideas instead of writing them down and capturing them into a system. Capturing, or quick capture, allows you to quickly record your ideas and move freely to the next one without having anything fall through the cracks and is a foundational principle of any productivity system. It's just as important for the small tasks, like remembering the milk, as it is for the bigger tasks, like a home remodeling project or product launch. Let me give you a real-life example of quick capture in action. Let's say I'm out to dinner with my wife, and I have a fleeting thought that tomorrow I have to give a big presentation at work. I can handle this a couple of ways. First, I can do nothing. Choosing to do nothing is still choosing to do something. This is not a good option because there's a good chance I'll forget completely and I'll show up for my presentation unprepared. Second, I can be preoccupied with the task. This also is not a good option because my focus and attention is not on who I'm with or what I'm doing. Doing this will inhibit you from developing relationships that are important to you and will wear you out. Third, I can quick capture the task. I can write it down and I can deal with it later. This is the preferred method because I can be present and fully engaged and I can still deal with the work that needs to get done when the time or context is appropriate. David Allen, the author of GTD, says that your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. He says that our brain is like a computer and if you fill up the RAM with things that you have to do, you'll never get anything done. The goal of GTD is to help you achieve mind-like water, which is a state of perfect readiness. No matter what happens, you're able to respond appropriately. For example, if you throw a small rock into still water, the water will respond appropriately to the force and mass of the input. It will produce ripples from the point of impact and then eventually return to a state of calm. It doesn't overreact or underreact. It reacts appropriately. Only when your mind is clear and your thoughts are organized can you achieve effective productivity. If your mind is overloaded trying to remember everything on your shopping list because you haven't captured that information into your trusted system yet, you will not be able to react appropriately when something unexpected happens. If you don't have a system for dealing with input and disruptions, even the smallest thing can cause a major disturbance. When your life is unbalanced, you can overreact or underreact pretty easily. For example, that urgent email that you need to respond to right away probably isn't that urgent, and the things that are truly important, like remembering your wife's birthday, can easily be forgotten. I personally don't check my work email after I leave the office because it can very easily steal my attention away from my family. And the truth is that even if I responded right away, the person who sent the email probably won't get it until tomorrow anyway. I'm much better off being fully present and engaged when playing with my kids. I need to be able to decide between what's important, playing with my kids, versus what's urgent, the impulsive need to check my inbox, and complete tasks accordingly. Dwight Eisenhower once said, what is important is seldom urgent, and what is urgent is seldom important. A good productivity system, like GTD, helps you sort the wheat from the chaff and correctly classify your tasks so you can focus on what really matters. Any productivity system, including GTD, hinges on your ability to decide what to do when. In order to decide what you need to do, 
you need to first know what you need to do. That's where the idea of quick capture comes in. The easiest way I know of to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks is to capture a thought the moment I have it. Unfortunately, many people don't do this and they operate in a continuous state of what David Allen calls emergency scan modality. Because they haven't told their day what to do, their day tells them what to do instead. They end up repeatedly trying to put out fires that spring up because they didn't capture information, and they're constantly worried about what they might be forgetting. They're continuously scanning for the next fire to put out and can never focus on one thing for any length of time. They can't react appropriately because they're constantly stressed about what they may be forgetting, and instead of looking down the road, they're stuck trying to survive day to day. It's impossible to achieve goals this way because everything appears urgent and important, even if it's not. David Allen once said that you only have two things that you need to do, what you're doing right now and everything else. It sounds kind of ridiculous to say it like this because you probably have a long list of things you need to do today, but the premise is simple. You show your priorities by how you spend your time. At any moment, you are saying that this is the single most important thing you could be doing. You have decided, either intentionally or by default, that what you're doing is the best possible use of this moment. You cannot say yes to everything, no matter how productive you are. And the only way to feel good about saying no is to know what your yes is. You need to be both efficient and effective, not just doing things right, but doing the right things. Seth Godin says, no is the foundation that we can build our yes on. A good productivity system like GTD will help you identify your yes and say no to the things that don't really matter, then help you achieve your goals as you walk out your vision. There are five steps to the GTD methodology. The first step and the subject of this series is capture. Collect what has your attention. The second step is clarify. Process what it means. The third step is organize. Put it where it belongs. The fourth step is reflect or review frequently. The fifth step is engage. Simply do. The most important part of the five steps to GTD is the first part capturing. Without capture, the rest of the steps won't happen because there's nothing to clarify, organize, or reflect on. Capture is the foundation of any productivity system and is actually pretty easy to implement. You just need to write things down. It doesn't matter if it's in a notebook or on your smartphone. What matters is that you have a system and you know what to do with that next. You need to know without a shadow of a doubt that it is in your system, and you have to develop a habit for processing that inbox regularly. In the rest of this series, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the two apps that I use daily to capture on Mac and iOS, NVAlt and Drafts. Check back next week for part two of this series.